So David, yes. you're the man that's seen this go from concept to yeah. reality in a yeah. very short space of time. Talk me through what happened. It's June last year when we sat down and uh, uh, Martin Leach decided he wanted to create the fastest electric vehicle on the planet. So we basically brainstormed as to what that could be, what that should be. And uh, here we are a year and a half later and uh, a world champion. For the supercar fans here, what, what features will they experience? It's got one megawatt of power. It goes zero to 102.7, top speed at the moment 313. Those will be improved. We're not giving up, we're continuing to push and test. You've sat in this driving seat, tell me a bit about how it all works. It's a, a carbon fibre chassis, uh, like a lot of race cars, and um, you know the actual driving position is very low in yeah. the car, um, it's very laid back, and, and this, you see this, how close the steering wheel is, it really feels like you're in a race car. I had more the, the mind of, okay, I'm sitting in a sports car, let's say, in a, in a cool, fast car. As soon as I hit the throttle, as soon as I hit the brakes, and as soon as I saw how quick it does these corners, I was like, okay, I think I need to turn my race car driver mode on over here because it's really really quick. Around the chassis you have uh, four electric motors, uh, one for each wheel and uh, you know that's where you get the, all the power and uh, also you can control the balance through those so yeah, the car generates a huge amount of downforce from the diffuser, it's got a diffuser on the full length of the car and also has this huge rear wing which is generating a lot of downforce but then it also has a DRS system that uh, it's activated by the driver to reduce the, the drag on the car and uh, create a higher top speed. And the steering wheel reminds me a bit of the Formula E steering wheel. It was is. it taken from that inspiration? Yeah. Absolutely. The steering wheel was actually developed by uh, um, the same company that developed our Formula E wheel. You have the key in your hand there, but how much would it cost me to get my hands on one of these? Well, we have an initial figure of about 1.2 million US dollar, but this really depends on interest, how many people step up to the plate to really get serious about it. We can build up to 200, so we're gonna test uh, the waters, so to say, and see who's interested. Despite its incredible acceleration and top speed, there's still the ultimate test for any supercar, the world-famous Nürburgring in Germany. Could the Neo EP9 break the existing EV lap time record? Thank you. 